Hello, and welcome to another Docuer how-to video presented by Mike and Technologies, a Docuer Platinum partner and Diamond Club member based in St. Louis, Missouri. Today, we're going to take a look at building function profiles and within Docuer version 6.12. It should be noted you want to create an organizational profile, usually called function profiles, as well as roles for your file cabinet. Creating the function profiles and roles will make the process of creating users much easier as it reduces administration work going forward. In general terms, a function profile allows the administrator to make a single assignment of rights to a file cabinet for a number of users who require the same rights to DocuWare. A function profile sets the level of permissions for organizational rights and functional rights. Function profiles can then be linked, assigned, to users and roles, but not directly to groups. It is important to understand the difference between function profiles and file cabinet profiles. A file cabinet profile relates to a single file cabinet, as the name implies. Function profiles can be assigned to multiple roles and file cabinets across your Docuer installation. In this video, we will make a function profile for a file cabinet. This profile will be assigned to a role in a later video, and then linked to our file cabinet within the role. An organizational profile is a container that holds granted rights to the Docuer program, Docuer modules, and Docuer annotations that can be granted to a user from the function profile. These function profiles are often broken down into four areas. Docuer administration, Docuer configuration, workflow manager, and stamps. When creating a profile, you must be logged into the Docuer administration application as a person who has been given the rights to manage profiles. Just because you can log into Docuer Administration does not give you the rights to make changes to the profile. In the Organization branch, expand the level to show the sub-branches by clicking on the arrow or double-clicking if needed. Expand the User Administration branch to show the sub-levels. Expand the Function Profiles branch. Shown are the automatically created profiles from when Docuer was installed along with a few others we've made. We will be creating profiles especially for our accounting demo file cabinet. Right click on function profiles to begin to create a new profile. As shown you're prompted for a new profile name. Please enter that descriptive name. I'm going to call this profile ACC Staff. So we need to spend some time talking about profile names. Create profile names that give a clue to what they are used for. If you are creating a profile for accounting managers, but will also be making profiles for purchasing managers, manufacturing managers, and the general manager, then making a profile called manager is not a wise move. Using ACC, MGR, MAN, MGR, and GM would be more descriptive. If you have a profile with similar rights, and you only need to make a few changes, you can select to copy that profile into this profile. In our case, this is not true, but using the down arrow beside the copy settings box will give you a list of available profiles to copy. In our case, we do not need to, so hit next. In the next dialog box as shown here, you are asked to select what functional rights this profile is granted. The accounting staff does not require Docuer administration rights, but does require other rights. Expand the, expand the Docuer configuration branch by clicking on the arrow beside the name. To grant a right, check the checkbox. Please put a check mark in the following checkboxes. Document trays, Docuer printer, Docuer request, and intelligent indexing. Remove any other check marks and click the next button. The new dialog box covers stamps, and previously created stamps can be assigned to the profile. Please do not select any previously created stamps and click Next to continue. The last dialog box shown here allows the assignment of this profile to previously created roles or users. Like the other dialog boxes, these buttons can change the panes where highlighted sections are shown. Please click Finish to complete this function profile. Shown is the open profile of ACC staff we just created. With this branch expanded, as shown, you can see the settings we selected. Review your settings and then click Apply. 
This concludes our build of a function profile. In the next video, we will be creating roles and assigning those profiles to the roles. As always, if you have any questions or comments, you may reach us directly via our phone number or email address listed in the description below this video. Thanks for watching.